UTPA women's basketball team continued its four-game road trip on Thursday in Utah Valley. <laughs> Flurry of runs by Utah Valley ultimately killed the Bronx. Adana Opara led the Bronx with 14 points in the 66-51 loss to the Wolverines. The Bronx are now 2-2, heading into Saturday's game against North Dakota. Hello, my name is Jerry Franzen from the Pan American, and I'm here at the UTPA basketball game against Utah Valley. On Thursday, the Bronx men's UTPA basketball team continued Great West Conference play as they welcomed conference-leading Utah Valley. The Bronx played a strong first half, shooting 48% from the field and carried a 36-33 lead into the break. With 17 minutes and 45 seconds remaining in the second half, Jared Marie scored on a three-point play to enter the 1,000-point club and become the 21st Bronx to do it. Hi, I'm here with Chris King, our athletic director. Um, we just had a tough loss tonight. How do you feel about the game? Well, I mean, they played tough. Uh, you know, they played hard. It was kind of exciting to watch Jared Marie get his 1,000th point. You know, he's been here four years. He's a stellar student athlete, and uh, so we're proud of him. Hi, I'm here with Jared Marie. Um, the game just ended. It was a pretty tough loss. Um, how did you feel about the game? Uh, it was a tough game. We played hard. Uh, we gave it all we had, but we came up short at the end. Yeah, you guys were up for most of the game, and do you feel like the team just kind of got too comfortable and relaxed? Uh, a little bit. Uh, we kind of got away from things that we do. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't play hard as we did in the first half, so, you know, we have a game Saturday, and if we play hard, you know, we should hopefully get the win Saturday, so we we'll just look forward to that. Well, I want to congratulate you with your 1,000-point career here at UTPA. Um, how do you feel about the accomplishment? Oh, it's a great accomplishment. Um, I couldn't do it without my teammates and my coaches. Uh, I want to thank my family, uh, thank God, you know, uh, the training staff for keeping me healthy through the four years. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, it's a great accomplishment, and I couldn't do it without everybody here. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Um, again, congratulations. It's a great accomplishment. Thank you. Ultimately, Utah Valley prevailed 77 to 69 and dropped the Bronx to 2 to 2 in conference play. For the Pan American, this is Jerry Franzen.